This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. In Assam, a hundred-year-old lady was discharged from hospital in Guwahati after she recovered from COVID-19 infection yesterday. Health Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma said that Mai Handik, a resident of Guwahati-based old age home, was undergoing treatment at the Mahendra Mohan Chaudhary Hospital in Guwahati. Mr. Sarma said that with the support of doctors and sheer willpower, she defeated COVID-19. He expressed his happiness that 80% of patients have won the battle against COVID-19. As many as 2,464 patients were discharged yesterday, taking the total discharge to 1,19,364. There are 29,091 active cases with the detection of 2,394 new COVID cases yesterday. Assam recorded a total of 1,48,969 cases, including 511 deaths so far. COVID-19 caseload rose to 4,195 in Meghalaya as 159 new positive cases were reported yesterday. 74 patients have also recovered yesterday, taking the total number of recoveries to 2,264. Meghalaya now has 1,902 active cases and 29 deaths. In Manipur, a 75-year-old male from Imphal East District expired due to COVID-19, increasing the total fatality to 48. Another 110 people were confirmed as new COVID-19 positive cases, while 103 patients have recovered and discharged. Manipur recorded a total of 8,320 positive cases, out of which 6,521 persons have recovered, with a recovery rate of 78.37%. There are 1,751 active cases at present. In Nagaland, 34 fresh COVID-19 positive cases were confirmed, taking the total cases to 5,263. A total of 3,968 persons have recovered, taking the recovery rate to 75.39%, and 10 persons have succumbed to the infection. Sikkim reported 45 new COVID-19 cases yesterday, taking the tally to 2,221 in the Himalayan state. The state has 480 active cases at present, while 1,722 patients have recovered from the infection and 19 have died. Sikkim has tested 45,762 samples for COVID-19 so far. The Meghalaya government yesterday withdrew its odd even arrangement for plying of vehicles across the state except in the state capital. A notification issued by the transport department said that the arrangement would continue within the Shillong urban agglomeration area and the same will be applicable to vehicles entering the state capital from other parts of the state. Long distance buses within the state have also been exempted from the odd even arrangement. The rule was introduced in June as a preventive measure to contain the spread of COVID-19 in the state. Customs sleuths have seized various goods worth 110 crore rupees and 710 operations in the Northeast since the COVID-19 pandemic hit the country and the region. Addressing a webinar on combating counterfeiting and smuggling during the COVID-19 pandemic and beyond, organized by Industry Chamber, FIKI, Commissioner of Customs Northeast, GM Kame, said their officials have been conducting raids in coordination with other departments. He said that the menace of illicit trade has to be dealt in a dedicated and systematic manner with concerted efforts from all central and state enforcement agencies along with paramilitary forces. Budget Korea SpiceJet yesterday launched a dedicated cargo service connecting the Northeast with the rest of the country and international destinations with 14 aircraft to transport all types of goods, including fruits and vegetables. Addressing the gathering at a function in Guwahati, Assam Chief Minister Sarmananda Sonowa said that farmers from the region can now transport their fresh farm producers across the country and internationally with the help of this cargo service. Stating that Assam alone has more than 37 lakh farmer families, he said that this initiative is a big boost for traders and business houses in Assam and the Northeast. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal yesterday presented government subsidy checks to entrepreneurs to set up new cinema halls and reopen or renovate closed and old ones to help the entertainment industry in the state. In a first of its kind scheme implemented by the Assam State Film Finance and Development Corporation Limited, the government subsidy checks were given to five entrepreneurs by the Chief Minister. For new cinema halls, the government would bear a subsidy up to 25% or 75 lakh rupees. 
For renovation of cinema hall, subsidy of 25 lakh rupees would be provided and for opening of old cinema halls, the subsidy would be 50 lakh rupees. The government has released 40% of the subsidy under the scheme. Mr. Sonowal said the scheme would promote Assamese cinema along with films of other languages. The scheme will also help the entertainment sector to turn into a potential industry of the state. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.